Today I'm going to show you five ways to add lovely grain textures to your photographs and artwork in Adobe Photoshop. In the digital age of photography, the noise from high ISO sensitivity is an undesirable addition to the image. ISO ruins the picture by taking away the details with ugly pixel sized blotches of RGB colours. In contrast, the sensitivity of film adds a kind of texture to the image as film grain, which has become a nostalgic aesthetic of analog photography. There are a few ways you can mimic the appearance of film grain in Photoshop, which can help give your photos and artwork more of an aged and tactile appearance. Some of the methods I'll be showing today offer similar results, but the process is slightly different, so it's handy to check them all out and see which one you find the most memorable. Most people's go-to filter to add noise or grain to an image is the basic filter noise and add noise effect. If you check the monochromatic option, it takes away the ugly coloured ISO-like dots, but it doesn't look very convincing. It's basically just a scattering of perfectly formed pixels, so let's take a look at some other options. The noise filter doesn't actually look too bad when you combine it with some additional steps to help fix some of the problems of using that filter alone. One of those problems is that it's applied destructively to the image, meaning you can't then go back and alter or remove the effect. Add a new layer above the image and go to Edit and Fill. Choose 50% grey from the drop down, then change this layer's blending mode to Overlay. Right click on the layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. This will allow you to go back and tweak the filter settings. Add the filter noise and add noise effect and choose a suitable figure depending on how subtle you want your grain effect to be. The result is exactly the same as before, but one additional step to make it a little more realistic is to add a tiny amount of Gaussian blur to take that hard edge off the grain pixels. Something between 0.5 to 1 pixel works great. The best thing about this method compared to the original is you can go back and edit those values to fine tune the effect. Now we all know about the noise filter in Adobe Photoshop, but did you know there's actually a film grain effect built right in too? Convert your image to a smart object so it won't be destructively edited, then go to Filter and Filter Gallery. You can quickly find the film grain effect from the list. This option has a few extra settings than the basic noise filter, but it still lacks some realism. One of my favourite methods of adding realistic film grain is via the Camera Raw filter. This tool set is great for processing your images in general, but there's a certain set of effects that are reserved just for adding film grain. Convert your image to a smart object, then go to Filter and Camera Raw filter. You'll find the grain settings in particular under the Effects tab. Here you'll find some handy settings for the grain amount, size and roughness, which you can fine tune to generate the perfect grain effect for images of all sizes which is often a problem when working on high resolution images where those previous pixel based noise effects can often get lost in the overall image size. The unique texturing of the camera raw filter grain effect is one of the closest replications of authentic film grain. Being applied to a smart object means you also have the option to fine tune or remove the effect altogether. Another filter which generates a more realistic grain effect is any of the blur gallery options. In order to apply this, you first need to add a 50% grey layer above your artwork, otherwise the actual blur effect would affect your image. Since the blurring has been applied to an empty grey layer, it has no effect, but the additional settings under the noise tab will be visible against your original photograph. Here you also have the amount, size and roughness sliders to play with just like the camera raw filter which can also be balanced against the blur amount. Then there's one more technique you can employ to add realistic film grain effects to your images, and that's to overlay an actual film grain texture. I'll link to this fantastic set of free film grain textures from Arkadze Ulitsky down in the description area. It contains a range of realistic grain effect textures, ranging from subtle noise to some bright colour burns. The addition of dust and speckles really adds to the authenticity to give your images a great nostalgic appearance. Once you've downloaded the pack, choose one of the textures and open it in Photoshop. Press Command and A to select all, followed by Command and C to copy, and Command and V to paste it into your main document. Scale the texture to size if necessary with the Command and T shortcut for transform. To allow the grain of the texture to be applied to your artwork, 
change the blending mode to screen for the darker textures or multiply for the lighter textures. If the effect is too prominent, you can tone it down by simply adjusting the opacity slider to choose between a subtle grain effect or a heavily distressed print. So I hope this overview of techniques helps you out. Let me know which one is your preferred method down in the comments or share your own secret recipe for creating lovely film grain effects. If you enjoyed the video or learnt anything new, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.